I think these two young men are over here. So where are we walking? We're walking through the jungle. Jungle one in Ithaca, New York. And this is a rural community? Yeah. It's the God State, New York. Yeah. There's Gavin. Uh, he's, he's not a resident here. He used to be. He's, he's inside now, but he comes down, checks on the cats, and just uh, shouts across. The, you know. What's up with the tree here, with the sandals? You see a lot of that. They just do that. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, something to do, maybe. Yeah. So how did you first get introduced to being down here? Uh, I was feeding uh, some with a church organization feeding the homeless down here at a, at a, at a center, at a feeding center, and uh, just got talking to one of the guys, and I, I, I never thought there'd be any homeless people in Ithaca. I lived, lived here all my life. And, um, you know, I, I was talking to one of the men and asked him where he lived, and he said, I live under this bridge by Cuga Street. I said, <laughs> you know, I snickered. I said, no, really. I mean, you know, practically, when you leave here tonight, it used to be 8, 9 o'clock, you go to bed at night, where are you going to sleep? Tell me where you're going to sleep tonight. He says, you know, he looked at me like I was dumb, and he said, I'm going to live, I'm going to sleep under that bridge. He said, I got my blanket, my, you know, I said, in, in, in America? I, am I in America? You know what I mean? Right. I mean, it's just. I mean, it's not too bad today, but it gets cold here. Oh, yeah, it gets real cold here. Yeah, you know, real cold. Ernie almost burned himself alive here in this tent. It's the only way he could get inside. Yeah, I was trying to get him inside for months and months. Nobody would, nobody would accept him. And um, he, he was trying to stay warm one bitter cold night, 20 below zero. The wind was blowing. He almost burned himself up. Then, then they, then they took notice. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So now you're telling me that um, there was a family with children down here. Yeah. There was and it a took family, eight. An, an eight-month-old child living in the jungle over there in that corner, and uh, I said, this, this can't happen. So took them to social services, and it took me eight days, all day long, eight-hour days, sitting in social services until they got housing. Wow. That's how, that's how frustrating it is Wow. for people. Hey, Rick. You're home? Oh man, what are you doing back down here? Oh, come down. Check things out. Oh, does he? How y'all doing? Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? This is the wall. This is where everybody hangs out in the summertime. Right. You know. Lots of people fell off the wall, and that guy did. Oh, he, he died? Yeah, he fell off the wall and didn't make it. Oh, my gosh. It's my friend Mark. Hey guys, how are, you? how are you? I'm good. I'm shooting video. Is that all right? Can you believe that? Look at that. Those glasses. No, it's, it's true. I mean, no. Rick, so, Rick, he'll tell me oh, that. I don't believe yeah. that. A video camera? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. So I, I do uh, advocacy for homelessness. and uh, he travel, He's traveled all over the world. Oh man, so, that's awesome. So bringing people vicariously, seeing what it's like living out here in a tent. How long have you been here? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Not the real one. Too long. But he, but he plays with it. See, he's got a cabin up in Trumansburg that when it gets real bad, he goes yeah, up yeah, there, yeah. right? Ah. So, mama didn't raise no fool. <laughs> <laughs> mama didn't raise no fool. When it gets bad, I, I roll out of here. Yeah. 
Well, the weather's got to get really bad here. Oh, it does. There was some times, I tell you, I didn't think I was going to make it in the morning. So now what brings you back to here? What brings you back coming back here? Oh, today I just come down and check out my house. And my my girlfriend's got a doctor's appointment. And I went and got my mail over to Friendship Center. And okay. A cup of coffee and a bagel. Just checking on the summer home, right? My brother. My brothers are still alive and kicking. Great. See if uh, John Carroll didn't burn my other houses down. See what he done? Look at that. Yeah, yeah, That's sure. what I got all these from. Oh, really? Putting that out. The I other see, one there, you lit both of them. I see Rob has got a tent up. Set up Does he? Yeah, yeah. Nobody else I down here, is there? Did, did, did you see the two young boys here? I haven't been down in the pit in a while. No, no, oh, yeah, over there. They were there, okay. yeah. They showed up yesterday. Yeah. Somebody took off of my brown tarp that was covering up my garbage. Well, of course yeah. they did. <laughs> If it ain't nailed down, you oh, know. Oh, man, I have to spike it down now. Yeah. yeah. Now, the, the fire's mostly from propane, from the heaters? Yeah. This would be, it says Carmen Gitti right down to it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many of that I bought, huh? I, you know, I take them all over to Weissman. Oh, yeah, pallet yeah. loads of them. Yep. Hey, it stays, it there. keeps you warm. It, it cleans up the area. Yep, yep, yep. I, Recycle. Billy Clement, right here, nine years, right here. Yeah. Got so bad, he went to the Friendship Center, which is the Red Cross. He was soiled himself so bad with his own feces. They said, will you please get him out of here? He just ruined a chair. Came down. I've been after him. Bill, are you ready to go somewhere? Are you ready? Or are you going to just lay here and kill yourself? I had set up with him to go to rehab a, a couple of days before that. I showed up, pick him up. He said, no, I'm not going today. I said, huh, I thought you were a man in your word. That stood him pretty good. He's a Vietnam vet. And I picked him up from there. I said, are you ready? He said, yeah, I'm ready. Two years sober. Awesome. He was, he was probably within hours. Awesome. You know. I had to go get new seats for my vehicle after that because yeah. I mean, who cares? Who cares? I mean, who cares? Right? Small price to pay, right? Leftovers. From kids, from family. Anybody home? <laughs> no? Yeah, you got to have a pretty safe community to have bikes and stuff. Oh, you got a pit bull. That's what it is. Yeah. Ah. Hey, bud. Pretty nice dog. Guess he was these two young, young boys were yesterday morning. How old? Uh, I'd say late teens. It's like, uh, I said, you, you guys want to help get in a place no we can do this we're boys we can we can handle this okay, okay. Uh, i'll check See in you on you february 25th when it's you know 15 degrees out in the wind's blowing in that in that thing yeah <laughs> this was the site of tom person he was a he was down here for six or seven years uh, worked at the state diner Right down the road, they worked his butt off as a dishwasher. Still could not make enough money to live here in Ithaca. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. So if he was here for six years, yeah. this, this Ted community here in Ithaca called the Jungle is over 100 years old. This over community? 100 years old. People right have been living here? They say it's over 100 years old, and, it's, and I guess it's not been empty since World War II. Wow. Last year it went empty. It was a big, you know, big press and all that about Well, you said the police came with yeah. and well, slashed no, the no, tents. That had nothing to do with it. It was, it was, I, Joe, who was up there, I was, he was the last one to leave yeah. last year. He's up behind the garage. Wow. So now when did the police come in? Or how that often was, the police? That was, that was four or five years ago. Okay. They don't ever come in anymore. Really? No, no. Now what, what was the change? I think the mayor, the mayor of Ithaca. The mayor right. of Ithaca. I don't was, know his story. I just heard he uh, actually experienced homelessness as a... Yes, he did. Uh, He's an ally. And, uh, 
Is there anybody home? That's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, it's funny. When, when, when I cleared the last guy out of this jungle, there's Jungle 2, who he had actually a, a friend that lived in Jungle 2, the mayor. So when this went empty, he caught wind of it and he called me up. He said, I want to thank you for your work, taking care of the guys and getting them out of the jungle. He said, if there's anything I can ever do for you, don't hesitate to call. Here's my phone number. I said, oh, cool, right? Two days later, he calls me and says, I need your help. I said, wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to call you for help. So he, he, wanted, me to, he wanted me to help get get uh, his friend out of there. And... So now what do you do? What is your normal gig? Normal? Yeah. Nothing normal about it. Well, th so do you do you're doing this full time? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just I mean, evolved. Yeah, it just evolved. I mean, I'm, I'm a nobody. Yeah. I mean, you know. No, I think you're pretty important. I would, right? I, like we said earlier, I think you're pretty brilliant. I would just go to the... I would go to the social services and say, "Hey, I'm dumb. Please help me. Help, help me get this guy into housing. What can I do?" And you learned how hard it is to get people into housing, oh, and then your friend killed himself out here. Yep, yep. You know, it, 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 the money was there. They'd even they said, "Okay, here's here's we'll give you a three fifty. Go find a place." Okay. Good luck. And again, this is a rural community. Well, you know, it's it gets pretty big with Cornell and everything. Yeah, well, that's what drives up the price of the housing in this too. Yeah. It really does. You know what the key is? Huh. The key is relationships. Yes. Relationships. Yeah. Do you know how many... You know how many Bible tracks that I've trampled underfoot coming through here day after day? You know, from guys that, hey, you need Jesus here. Take this and, and he, he'll give you, you know, you'll get out right. of here. Magic Jesus. Never heard it put that way, but. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a, a Bible track and, and everything's going to be better. Yep. Yep. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Feed the fish. Guacamole. And, and meanwhile, the guy that handed the Bible track never comes back. Never comes back. Right. You know. Well, uh, thank you for the tour. You're welcome. And thank you uh, for uh, helping our homeless friends. So. Thanks, for, thanks for coming. It was good to meet you.